welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Trisha and in today's video I'm going to show you my top five all-time favorite enclosures of all the ones that I have and then also I'm just going to give you a little update on some of the plans that I have because there are a lot of different upgrades that I want to do soon. Um, it's going to be a little bit of time because I'm still recovering. I can't really physically do too much. So yeah, it's going to be like a process, but I just want to give you guys a good idea of like what's going to be coming and the different things that I want to work on and change. So we're going to start off by just taking a look at some of my favorite enclosures. Most of the enclosures, if not all of the ones that I'm going to be talking about today are from Zen Habitats. So you should absolutely check them out if you are interested in upgrading any of your animals. The best thing about Zen is that they have larger size requirements for all of the animals. They're all stackable. They open with front doors. They lock. They're secure. Like they are just so nice looking too. And they're addicting. So I absolutely love them. I'll go into more detail talking about the products as I show you my favorite enclosures because my favorite ones are from Zen. I do have an affiliate link with them as well. So if you are interested in shopping from them, please go ahead and use my affiliate link. I do make a small commission when you do shop from that link. So I really do appreciate your guys' support. And of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me them in the comments and I'll help you out because I know all the information when it comes to Zen because I work for them and I love them and I'm a huge fan of them as well. So we're going to jump into the video now and I'm going to start showing you guys some of my favorite enclosures. So we're going to start off with some of my favorite enclosures and one of them belongs to this little guy right here, Baloo. So I'm going to go ahead and put him back in the enclosure, which he's probably, he's just crawling onto my shoulder now. Here, go on in. He's just chilling on my shoulder now. Here, baby. We're going to go back in the enclosure. <laughs> Okay, or you can just hold my hand, you know. That's cool too. That's cool. I appreciate the love. So we're going to put him back in his enclosure. So his enclosure is a 2x2x4 two by two by Zen Habitat PVC enclosure. So this is what the whole thing looks like. And it's right next to the other one, which is the exact same thing. So I'm going to include both of these as like my number one favorite because I just absolutely love them. They're stackable, as you can see, they're on top of Peach's enclosure, and they do fantastic with humidity. And these enclosure sizes come with this option at the bottom. So this is a screen option. Um, it'll also come with acrylic. So I chose to use the screen because it increases the ventilation, which is very important for these chameleons. They absolutely need a lot of ventilation, as well as humidity, which is what the PVC is fantastic for. So yeah, there's Baloo, and this is his enclosure. I did a three-dimensional naturalistic background on both of these chameleon enclosures, and I absolutely love it. Um, I'm not really sure where Willie is. He was just out. I literally just fed him something, but I just put some worms in his little cup. It's tucked into the plant, so he's probably... Oh, there he is. I just saw a little eyeball. <laughs> there he is. Try and zoom in. Yep, there's Willie. <laughs> Maybe I can try to get, oh yeah, he's trying to hunt. Now he's escaping. Um, but yeah, so both of these enclosures are the same exact size and I just think they look so great. I absolutely love them. It's like literally like having a jungle in this room. Um, if I could just have like 10 enclosures like these, I totally would. Willie, we want to see you. He's getting so big, you guys, and so blue. He's just absolutely stunning. Um, so yeah, that's what's great about Zen Habitats. They're stackable. The PVC is great for keeping the humidity up, but then there's still the option of more ventilation through the screen at the bottom, which is perfect for chameleons. Um, and then they're very spacious, as you can see. They also have one size enclosure that's literally a 4x2x4 four by by four for chameleons. So you could just use, like, it would be like this entire size of these two as one enclosure, which is just massive. I'm trying to get Willie, but <laughs> he just keeps escaping. Willie, we want to see how pretty you are. Um, but yeah, so these are just... They're just masterpieces. I absolutely love them. Um, and the chameleons love them too, like Baloo. <laughs> He's very happy in here. 
He's a happy guy. Um, and they just look so good. And then everyone always asks me where I get my labels from. They're from Cloud Forest Designs. And then I have a little Zen Habitat sticker. <laughs> He's thinking about moving. Go on, you can do it. Um, and what's really cool is you can close all of these with a lock so it's very secure. And uh, yeah, he has his little sticker there too in the Cloud Forest Design one. His Willie coming out. But yeah, these enclosures are just amazing. I just, and what's really cool is when you're building them yourself, it made it really easy for me to do these naturalistic backgrounds. I have videos on that if you would like to see, um, but I put both videos up on how I made both of these enclosures. So it just turned out really, really great. And so yeah, these are at the top of my list and I'm gonna combine them as one because they're pretty much, I feel like it's a package deal. So this is my very first favorite enclosure on my list today. And it belongs to the panther chameleons. And my next favorite enclosure is this four by two by two PVC enclosure, again from Zen Habitats. Um, and this one belongs to Bowie, my Brazilian rainbow boa. Mm -hmm. So actually, I don't know where she is at the moment, but this is her enclosure. I did a three dimensional naturalistic background. And one of my favorite things about this enclosure is it's great for humidity for one, which is very important for especially a Brazilian rainbow boa, but it has the ability to even grow in size. So what my plan is when I have more space, I can buy another enclosure exactly like this one and I can attach it to this enclosure and then get rid of this wall so it'll be an eight by two by two enclosure, which will be very, very spacious for Bowie. So I think she is on the other side. Yeah, she's tucked in. She's sleeping over here. Try and get you guys. There she is. Iridescent and beautiful and just sleeping. Um, so she has a little cool hide over here and I like to, she was tucked in, I'll tuck her back in. <laughs> Um, don't want to disturb her too much, but this enclosure is very spacious for her. I'm going to put some footage so you can see her moving around in here. I gave her a little bit of like some climbing features. I've never seen her climb on this one, but I have seen her climb on that branch over there. Uh, but yeah, she can be pretty active at nighttime, which is great. That's what I wanted because her other enclosure, I think, was only 16 inches. So it probably was like half of this. And now she just has way more height. And then one day she'll have even more length. So this enclosure is just absolutely one of my favorites. I just love it so much and so does Bowie. My next favorite enclosure would probably have to be another group, <laughs> like another package deal, which is my ball python enclosures. So this one belongs to Chaos, my coral glow ball python. And it's just stunning and there's so much space and you can still put climbing opportunity in here. Like she, she, he is a boy. He actually climbs up on that over there. I think he's tucked in. He's always tucked in over here. There he is. So he's sleeping now. I don't want to disturb him too much. Um, but yeah, that's chaos. And we'll take a look at the other side of the enclosure kind of hard with the lighting right now but yeah I just I love this enclosure and then the package deal goes with the one on top which belongs to Casper and this is the enclosure that I did last year um he still has this live plant the philodendron um he has his warm hides over here it looks like there's a fresh shed in the back over there um and yeah so this is the halloween themed enclosure that i did and it's halloween all year round he's always on the cool side so and this is also pvc which is great for humidity oh and it looks like he is <laughs> he's sleeping in this hide right here don't want to disturb him too much but yeah so that is my package deal both of these enclosures are four by two by 16 inches tall, made of PVC and highly functional. My favorite thing is the front opening doors. It's so nice and they're very secure. Like as you can see, these slide into these grooves 
which makes it completely secure and your snake cannot escape from that. Which My next favorite enclosure are, I mean, I don't want to make a pair. I'm like saying all of my enclosures are my favorite. Both of these are pretty much the same thing though. Um, they look very, very similar. This is for a gargoyle gecko. That one is for red rum, which used to be citrus, but I renamed her because I just didn't really like that name anymore. I didn't think it was fitting. Um, and then this is Sunny's enclosure, which I kind of like this one a little bit more, especially because the pothos is doing great. Both of them hide in the cork bark right over here. Um, there's a foot. <laughs> And like, it's funny because Red Rum has literally the same exact hide and always goes in there during the day. They're like twins and they have twin enclosures. But yeah, both of these are very spacious. I wanna upgrade all of my crested geckos into this size as well. Uh, made of PVC, so it's great for holding in humidity. And again, you can make the naturalistic three-dimensional background, which just looks so nice. Um, yeah, and then it's live planted and bioactive, and I love these enclosures so much. I can't wait to make more. And my last favorite enclosure of all of my enclosures belongs to Peaches, my red-footed tortoise. This enclosure is extremely spacious and beautiful, and it's so perfect for her and her size. Although her water bowl is very dirty, she tends to be very messy, um, so yeah, I need to work on that. But she is so cute. She's getting so big, but she still fits perfectly in this size. It's still very spacious. This is a four by two by two. And again, and again, it's PVC, which is great for humidity. Um, and the other thing is, again, like just like the other one that I mentioned, the four by two by two for Bowie, I plan to do the same thing with this one and attach another four by two by two to this enclosure and make it an eight by two by two. I might even go larger for peaches because she will be very big one day and I'm gonna want her to have a spacious enclosure. So they're gonna have length and depth extension kits for the four by two by twos. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be utilizing that once I move and have this space and can give this little queen a giant kingdom to live in because she deserves it. So for now, I love this enclosure and she loves it. She's very happy in here. So as for updates, these are all of the enclosures in my bedroom on this racking system with my awesome pumpkin purse that I'm like so excited for to use, but I'm waiting for it to be closer to Halloween. But so for these enclosures, I want to upgrade all of them to Zen Habitats. Right now I only have one, which is Metamora's. So I think the next upgrade that I'm going to do is going to be Kiwi's enclosure. So this is my leopard gecko enclosure. I absolutely love this enclosure. It's kind of hard to see because of the reflection, but it is stunning. It's so amazing. Kiwi's sleeping in the corner over there. It has like little caves in it. I absolutely love it. It's very spacious. The one thing that I can't stand though is that I have to open it from the top and it locks and it's extremely hard to get in and out of. So I definitely want those like functioning, like front opening sliding doors. So I'm gonna be upgrading Kiwi to a four by two by 16. He will get a lot more floor space. And then what I wanna do is put this, well, the upgraded Zen enclosure on the floor. Probably gonna move Ponyo and Mango to the living room for just temporarily as I'm upgrading some things. And then what I'm gonna do after Kiwi's upgrade is I'm gonna get another two by two by two like this one and upgrade Oakley into it. And then I'm going to basically just stack the two two by two by twos next to each other on top of Kiwi's enclosure and then just continue stacking up in here. Eventually I will get Ponyo and Mango into four by two by 16s as well. So. Those are my future upgrade plans. The other plan that I have is to also upgrade these two enclosures to two by two by twos as well. So these are my two crusty geckos. So I just wanna get every single animal into a Zen Habitats because I just, I love them. You guys know, like <laughs> it's all I ever say is how much I love them. And I like that everything can just match and stack so like i just want to keep going and i might as well just upgrade every single animal that i have until all of them are just in magical zen habitats so those are my plans it's gonna take some time probably like i don't know if i'll even finish it within the next year but i'm gonna try 
So that is my goal. And, the and then this is my turtle tank. This is the last upgrade that I also want to do. I don't like this basking area. What I would like to do is actually put like a Zen Habitats 4x2x16 by by on top of it and create a basking area. Zen just mentioned in their last YouTube video that they are currently thinking about and possibly working on something for turtles. That way we can give them like little basking areas. So stay tuned for that because I sure am and that's exactly what I wanna do. Those are all of my updates and some of my favorite enclosures. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know which enclosure was your favorite and I will see you guys in the next video.